Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are going to be organizing and labeling and just trying to get everything in order around my house, specifically starting with the pantry. It seems like no matter what I do, the pantry is never fully organized. Like I get it organized, then we live with it for a week, it gets messy, I'm not the only one using it, and there's just always like some other way that I can make it better and more functional for our family. So this video actually consists of me filming over the course of a variety of days, just trying to improve my situation, trying to make it work better for us. And it just goes to show that like, you know, there's always probably room for improvement and you have to give yourself grace. Like if you try to start organizing it, it may not be like Pinterest worthy right away. You may not have the funds to get all the containers you need to organize everything to look a certain way, but you can still make it functional for your family, you know, given the supplies that you have. So to start, I added some contact paper on one of the additional shelves that my dad was able to install for us. And I'm just gonna be restocking my Lazy Susan and just trying to make like the food that was already in there look a little bit more presentable. My heart stopped when I first saw you. So as you guys can see, like this looks a lot better. This was kind of my first day of deciding to reorganize and just make it work a little bit better. I was really happy with how this looked, but I have to say these black baskets that were at the very top of my pantry that were organizing a lot of my baking supplies, they just weren't cutting it. I wasn't able to really stack them very well or at all, and they were too tall for me to reach. And it just wasn't working and Juan gifted me some of these storage containers that I also got for my laundry room and I decided to use them in my pantry and I was going to create labels for them and it just really helped me separate cupcake liners, cookie cutters, food coloring and sprinkles, just all of the different baking supplies that I had and it makes it a lot easier for me to find what I'm looking for quickly.
So I really loved how these turned out and they, it's made it a lot easier as I've been baking to like find what I need and not have to reach for like a more flimsy basket full of my supplies. I would like to thank Spa Clear for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us these multifunctional folding storage bins. The package I received came with three collapsible storage bins, three lids, optional wheels, and a nice decorative insert that fits into one of the lids to give a wooden look. The containers were very easy to set up. I just had to align the plastic components and snap them together. I like how the door of each bin closes magnetically and has a handle to make opening the bin easier. You can choose to stack these containers or use them separately. When stacking the containers, you only need to use a lid on the top container, and then just secure the containers together using the snap handles on the sides of the bins. I contemplated using these bins in a variety of places. I wasn't sure if I wanted to organize my linens with them, organize the kids' outdoor items with them, or if I wanted to put them in my hall closet and organize my kids' shoes or my extra bags. But I ended up just deciding to use it to organize my bulk food in my pantry. As you guys have seen in this video and in some of my past videos, I dump my bulk food in two baskets at the bottom of my pantry. But this method really isn't very organized and doesn't use much of the vertical space in that area. Lucky for me, without the wheels, these containers just fit under that bottom shelf in my pantry, really maximizing the space. I like how if I end up emptying out one of the bins, I can collapse it down, or I can use it somewhere else in my house and just take it off of the other two. I will place the link to this product down below in the description box for your convenience. Again, I would like to thank SpaClear for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me better organize my pantry. Now let's go ahead and finish organizing this pantry and move on to labeling some of my other storage bins for a different place around my house. So like I said at the beginning, the pantry is always kind of a work in progress. It may never be just perfect all the time. So for now, this is going to work. It's organized. I know where everything is and that's kind of the point. So moving on, we are going to be labeling some of my holiday storage containers that I keep in my master closet. I have been meaning to add labels on our Easter bin, our 4th of July bin. I wanted to make an extra Halloween bin because we're kind of like overflowing in that department. And um, since this video, I've actually labeled a couple more. I did like a birthday bin and an additional Easter bin as well. For each of the holidays, I wanted to just add like a visual element to it. So I searched for free images and added that to the text as well.
I really love how all of these bins look at the top of my master closet. I love how everything is labeled and it's really easy to tell which bin I need for which holiday so that I can just get on my little step stool and get it down when I need it. Moving on, we are gonna be labeling some of the same containers that I had in my pantry, the lavender ones, but now for my laundry room. I picked out these containers specifically because they fit perfectly in our cabinets in the laundry room and they were able to stack really nice they have lids and it really uses all that space they're not you know too shallow and they're not sticking out and making it so like the door can't close and I wanted to use them for like band-aids and like first aid my I think I have a stethoscope and something to look in your ear I have some like light bulbs that I just wanted to be like you know nicely protected in a sturdy container I wanted to have one for batteries, for our blood pressure stuff, and uh, adhesives. So like command strip hooks or blue painter's tape or packing tape and all of that stuff. And it's been a while since I've filmed this portion of the video and I have to say organizing it in this way has made our lives a lot easier. It's been you know really easy to be like oh, I need a band-aid and know exactly where to look and grab what I needed. So I'm really happy that not only do I have these containers that fit nicely in our cabinets but I'm happy that I have my Cricut to like label it and have it look pretty and it really brings me joy to have everything like look this way. So we're going to wrap up today's video by adding Taylor's name to our This Is Us sign that hangs in our master bedroom. For those of you guys who are new here, Taylor was the name we decided to give the baby that I recently miscarried. And I really felt like Taylor deserved to be on our family little sign because I have a little saint up in heaven and I don't want to be in a place where like I don't think about this child of mine that I got to hold in my body for about eight weeks. And so I want to honor Taylor by adding Taylor to our little This Is Us sign. So after adding Taylor's name, I hung the sign back in our room. As you can see here, I am hanging it over our bed originally, and then since then we have rearranged our room, so this is what the sign looks like now. But that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys for coming along as I organized my pantry, as I labeled my containers, and just tried to get my life in order. I'm sure there will be more videos in the future where I continue to organize my pantry, because it's like a never-ending loop of of being organized and then being messy so stay tuned for more videos on that and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in my next one
to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.